Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Gold Rush star Rick Ness talks about his emotional return. Rick Ness opens up about his emotional return to the show and the impact that his mother's death on him. From a college football star to an upright bass playing musician, Rick Ness' life has seen a little bit of everything. But Ness struck gold when he found his way onto Parker Schnibble's crew in season three of Gold Rush. The Michigan native had never mined for gold in his life, but he quickly saw himself rising up the ranks on Schnibble's team. Before long, Ness became a Gold Rush fan favorite as his big personality earned him adoration as well as more screen time. By season seven, Ness had his own crew with Schnabel's team and everything in his life seemed to be looking up. But in 2018, Ness lost his mother to cancer. Understandably, the loss took its toll on Ness, but he pressed forward. In the season eight episode of Monsters and Men, Ness told Schnibel that he was parting ways with the team and becoming his own boss. Once again, things started to look up again for the Gold Rush star. But in season 13, Ness decided to walk away from the show. He admitted that the stresses of the show drained him. He also revealed that he was suffering from seasonal affective disorder. Ness' absence in season 13 was noticeable, and fans certainly missed Rick's presence on the show. Rick Ness discusses his emotional return to Gold Rush at the end of August. Discovery had Gold Rush fans breathing a sigh of relief when they confirmed the return of Ness for season 14. At the end of the trailer for season 14, Ness makes a surprise appearance in a very fashionable way. In a recent interview with TV Insider, Rick Ness discusses his emotional return to Gold Rush. He noted his decision to step away during season 13 as something that needed to happen for his sake. I ultimately stepped back and reevaluated everything in my life. I think like a lot of people, the stress got to me. I wasn't dealing with things correctly because I didn't know how. I didn't want to reach out for help. I was making bad decisions, so I really had to reevaluate. Ness said, His time away from the show is ultimately what helped him to decide to come back. This was a case of asking if this was what I wanted to do. Was I done with this? I thought, you know what? I have over a decade of invested in this. Time, money, effort, all this. It was such a big part of my life, so I wasn't willing to give that up. I made the decision that, no, this is what I want. I will do whatever it takes to get back to it. Rick Ness, on the role, his mother played in his comeback. After his mother's passing in 2018, Ness reveals that he chose to ignore his grief instead of dealing with it in a healthy way, something that ate at him for a long time. My mom passed, and I never dealt with it. I had the mindset that I was too busy and would put this away for a later date. It turns out that was the wrong thing to do. It turns out a lot of people make that mistake. Part of it was I took ownership of my mom's house when she passed. I couldn't even go there for years, he said. The turning point in his journey through grief was finally acknowledging his loss. I walked through that door, packed her house up, and took what I wanted to remember my mom by. Then I had to sell the house to ultimately fund my comeback here. It sounds terrible, but I had that in my head. A house is a house. And if this house could get me back on track, that is what she would want. But it has to mean something. I knew if I was doing this, I had to make it work. That was a big part of my journey, no doubt. Rick Ness, a familiar face on the hit reality TV show, Gold Rush, has had his fair share of ups and downs. Known for his rugged demeanor and relentless drive, Rick's journey in the gold mining world has been anything but ordinary. His recent emotional return to the show marks a pivotal moment, not just in his career, but in his personal life as well. Rick Ness wasn't always a gold miner. He first gained fame as the right-hand man to Parker Schnibble, 
another prominent figure in the series. Rick's background was in music, playing in a rock band before trading his bass guitar for heavy machinery. His transition to mining was as unexpected as it was dramatic, and it didn't take long for viewers to see his potential. Over time, Rick earned a reputation for his work ethic, leadership, and ability to overcome obstacles, no matter how insurmountable they seemed. However, the relentless pursuit of gold comes with its challenges. The physical and emotional toll of the job, coupled with the pressure of performing on a televised stage, can be overwhelming. For Rick, the journey has been a roller coaster. From the highs of striking gold to the lows of dealing with equipment failures and financial setbacks, he's experienced it all. Rick's decision to step away from the show was not an easy one. The reasons were multifaceted, involving personal struggles, the need for a mental health break, and a desire to reconnect with himself. I needed time to find out who I was outside of gold mining, Rick confessed in a recent interview. The hiatus provided him with a much-needed respite, allowing him to recharge and reflect on his life and career. The announcement of Rick's return to Gold Rush was met with excitement and curiosity. Fans wondered what had changed and what to expect from the seasoned miner. Rick himself was filled with mixed emotions, nervousness, anticipation, and a renewed sense of purpose. Coming back was a big decision, he admitted. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I felt ready to face the challenges again. Rick's return was marked by a poignant reunion with his team. The camaraderie among the crew members had always been a cornerstone of his success. Their shared experiences, both good and bad, had forged strong bonds. Seeing familiar faces and feeling the support of his team was a source of immense comfort for Rick. It felt like coming home, he said, his voice tinged with emotion. One of the most significant changes in Rick's approach upon his return was his renewed focus on mental health and well-being. The high-stress environment of gold mining can take a severe toll, and Rick was determined to prioritize a healthier work-life balance. He introduced new measures to ensure that his team could also benefit from this approach. It's not just about the gold, Rick emphasized. It's about the people who make it possible. Rick's first season back was filled with challenges, as expected. The harsh conditions of the Yukon, the unpredictability of the gold deposits, and the constant mechanical issues kept him and his team on their toes. But Rick's perspective had shifted. Instead of seeing these obstacles as insurmountable, he viewed them as opportunities for growth and learning. Every setback is a setup for a comeback, he often reminded his crew. The emotional depth of Rick's journey was evident in his interactions with his team and the way he approached mining. There was a newfound sense of empathy and understanding in his leadership style. He was more patient, more communicative, and more supportive. This transformation did not go unnoticed by his crew. Rick's different now, one of his team members remarked. He's still the same hardworking guy, but there's a calmness about him that wasn't there before. Rick's return also rekindled his love for the hunt. The thrill of discovering gold, the adrenaline rush of a successful dig, and the satisfaction of seeing the fruits of his labor reignited his passion. There's nothing quite like it, he said with a smile. The feeling of finding gold never gets old. As the season progressed, Rick faced numerous tests of his resolve. There were moments of doubt and frustration but he handled them with a maturity and grace that spoke volumes about his growth. His emotional journey resonated deeply with viewers who saw in Rick's story a reflection of their own struggles and triumphs. Rick Ness's return to Gold Rush is more than just a comeback. It's a testament to the human spirit's resilience. His story is one of perseverance, self-discovery, and the power of second chances. Rick's journey reminds us that it's okay to step back, to take time to heal, and to come back stronger than ever.